Welcome once again to Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai where we are doing the 12 days of Christ. And we are rejoicing that God has been so good to us that he gave to us his son, Christ. Tonight, our theme is goodness. And God is so good. One of the families in our church has really experienced the goodness of God this year. And that's the Grace family. And they're going to be sharing with us how good God is. Let's watch and be blessed. Hello, this is Andre Grace. We're supposed to be talking about goodness. So, of course, goodness doesn't come from us. It comes from God. God is good. Um, but just to briefly tell you what God's goodness is to us, what it means to us. This is the front of our house, and this is what we're the most proud of. These are our kids here, and to be able to have pictures of all of our kids, as you can see in their graduation outfits. So every one of our kids have graduated. That is a blessing. Thank God for that, because God is good. It doesn't mean it was easy. It wasn't easy. Um, a lot of challenges. As always, there's a lot of challenges, but God is good. What else is he good about? These are our parents. These are our parents' pictures. Both my wife and I had both of our parents in our lives. So we are we are just blessed. Okay, this is basically our family room right here, our living room. And as you can see, then God brought us together. So we are blessed because God is good. Again, it has nothing to do with us. We are good. God is good. Why can we do what we need to do? Because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Our model, Philippians 4, 13. Okay. But God is just truly good. He's truly good. And the last thing I'm going to show is our little mantle with all of our family members right there. There's nothing else to really say other than... Um, God's goodness to us is undeserved. We're unworthy, but we're grateful. The best thing that we can do as Christians is return his goodness to others, but it all starts with him. So one of the fruits of the spirits is goodness. And God's goodness is something that we want to try to return to others. God bless you. Happy holiday, church family. Happy holiday. Welcome to our home. Oh, taste and see. Well, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man. And blessed is the man that dwelleth within. Trusteth with him, yes. And that comes from Psalms 34, 8. Uh, we are here to share the beauty of goodness. And God is an amazing author, creator, and finisher of goodness. For me, in this moment of my life, at this Christmas season, celebrating our Lord's birth, goodness for me is the prayer that the Lord answered of my beloved husband because this time last year we almost lost him but for the grace and goodness of God who said yes to our prayers we are here together this year now you when we think about goodness I think about Romans 8 28 which has been my favorite text all things work together for good for those who love the Lord according to his purpose when we can understand that, then everything can be good. When we can understand that no matter what the pain or the loss or the fear or the, or the challenges, that it's all good because God will turn it into good for his purpose. And that's all that really matters. Um, 
I'd like to share, if I could, honey, mm -hmm. another text, and that's Matthew 5, 15, and 16. And that text says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. How could we not scream joy and love and goodness to others the way the Lord blesses us with so much goodness? When we think about the goodness of our home and our family and the challenges we have been through with our children and their challenges and our, all of our challenges and how God has healed our family with his goodness, it's nothing that you can be quiet about but you have to shout it from the rooftops and then there's titus 2 14. titus 2 14 says who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good work when i think about our church mount sinai it's so much goodness. When I think about zealous, what does it say? Zealous people, zealous of good work, peculiar people, zealous of good work. I think about community service and how every single Sunday and Monday, they are filling the trunks of our community with food and resources. When I think about us going by last Sunday, and there were community service and members stuffing hundreds of bags to give to prisoners and inmates. When I think about every day when our phone rings and there is a word, just the right word for the right time from Dr. Drake. And I think about the goodness of all the intercessory prayer for my husband, for my children, for myself, for our family. Our church is filled and blessed with goodness. And one of the greatest gifts of goodness our church, Mount Sinai, has received is our pastor and sister Moffat. What wonderful goodness the Lord has given us through them who live that goodness in their own lives. Um, I'd like to go and maybe end with 2 Corinthians 9, 8. And that in 2 Corinthians says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, toward us, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound in every good work. Goodness. I think of our own son Avery, who's in a mental hospital, been there all his adult life who was surrounded by COVID, even right in his own dorm, right next to his room, and it never touched him. Goodness, who you are to the graces. We love you. And our prayer for ourselves, our prayers for you, are that we will in the new year and even now, that we will continue to empty ourselves at the feet of Jesus, and ask him to continue to fill us with his goodness, with his love, so that we can reflect that and embrace that on everyone we meet, starting in our homes, our neighbors, our communities, our workplaces, our churches, our country, and the world. But the greatest goodness of all is the one that we celebrate even this season, that our Lord and Savior, who came to earth to die on a cross for us. What goodness is going to be when we are all together and the earth made new, healthy and happy and filled with joy and goodness. Mount Sinai, thank you for your love. Thank you for the amazing goodness that you have embraced our family with a lifetime. We love you. And we'd like to end with a prayer. Can we pray? Right. Our Father, we come to you this evening, Lord. We come to you celebrating your creation of goodness. The goodness that you have given us as a family. 
the goodness that you have given us as a church family, the goodness, Lord, that you have given the opportunity of this world to receive. And Lord, during this season, Lord, that we celebrate your coming, let us not be distracted with celebrations of material things, but in the celebration of what you have done for us in being born. Let us take the time to grieve the sorrow that you had to suffer when you left this world because of us. But we thank you, Lord, that you did it and you love us. And that's because of your almighty goodness. Lord, for every family member, for every voice, for every heart that's listening tonight, no matter what they are feeling, whatever they're going through, whatever their challenges are, Lord, Maybe they have not ever felt goodness. But Lord, we pray that in this moment that you are embracing them with goodness. And if it is for the first time, Lord, for some, let it not be the last, but the beginning of much wonderful goodness, that they will be embraced by your love. Lord, we pray that you will reveal them to us at Mount Sinai as a family, and that they will be embraced by your love in us your goodness in us. We love you, Lord. We thank you for this precious time of celebrating you and the fruits of the Spirit in this season of your love. Thank you for my precious husband, the priest of our home, Lord. We love you. In the mighty and the holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. His mercies are new every day. Without his compassion, my soul is doomed. His mercies are new every day. He is faithful like the morning sunrise. His mercies are new every day. Continuous love that will never fail. His mercies are new every day. With him in my life, sin cannot prevail. His mercies are new every day. Derek Moffat, the senior pastor of the Mount Sinai Seventh Day Adventist Church. We just want to let you know how much we appreciate you joining us for this wonderful event. And we trust that the Lord God is going to continue to bless you as you join us from night to night. May the good Lord bless you and keep you until we see you on tomorrow night.